It's wild here, and now that Counter Strike 2 is finally out, I thought in no better time than to make an updated CS2 knife tier list, as there have actually been quite a lot of changes since CSGO. Also, as you guys can see here, today's video's giveaway is going to be this Desert Eagle Conspiracy, as it got 22 votes in the Discord. So make sure you guys have joined the Discord so that you can vote on tomorrow's video's giveaway. Oh, and congratulations to Fimmer Joe. Here we go, guys. Boom. Here we go. Fimo Joe. Again, guys, every night I pick the giveaway winner in my Discord. So if you want to get involved in that, make sure you join it. Starting off in the no full stop tier, of course, we have none other than the Navaja knife. Which, I mean, let's be honest, should be called the Navaja letter opener. Because, I mean, look at the blade, guys. It's literally smaller than the handle. This pattern, however, does look nice on CS2, but it's still a no from me. Now, the other knife in the no category for me is the Paracord knife. And yes, before you guys go and leave a rage comment, just give me a second to explain myself. I personally just really don't like the look of this knife and never have. I don't know if it's just the handle. I mean, obviously, it's a Paracord knife, but I just really don't like the look of it. As well as that, the animation aren't that great, except from the cool pull-out animation, which throws it from one hand to another. But unfortunately, this is a rare animation, so you don't really get to see it that much. And yes, guys, I know there'll be a bunch of you asking where are the shadow daggers or the gut knife, etc, etc. And we'll get onto that in a sec. But before we continue with the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is GamerPay. They're currently the official sponsor of NIP. No matter what you sell, they have a 0% selling fee, meaning you get 100% of what you sell something for. As well as having no sales fees, GamerPay also have a new feature known as as pre-deal, where you can buy and sell your trade-locked items. A lot of people try to do this outside of GamerPay and end up getting scammed. With GamerPay, you can now do these deals in a safe and secure way. Also, to make sure you're getting the best price, you can filter by true market price, giving you the real value of items, unlike other sites that either use Steam price or inflate their prices. They also have super low fees when depositing and withdrawing funds, or as little as 0% fees if you upgrade the status of your account. So yeah, if you're looking to sell some old skins and buy some new skins for CS2, Make sure to check them out using the link in the description or the pinned comment as it really helps support the channel. Once again, thank you GamerPay for sponsoring the video, but let's get back into it. So, for the next tier, I've decided to make a goofy tier, as these knives get a lot of hate, but I feel like they're more fun to use than the Navaja or the Paracord. So, at the bottom of the goofy tier, we start with the gut knife, which isn't the best looking knife, I'll admit that, especially with its wooden handle. But the pullout animation is really nice in my opinion, and overall, it's a decent OG knife to use in CS2. Next, we we have shadow daggers and i mean yeah guys you can't really get more goofy than these they're literally called butt plugs by a lot of people so take that for what it is next up a knife that arguably could be more goofy than the shadow daggers which is the falchion knife and yeah i mean hey the pullout is okay especially if you inspect straight away the inspect uh, i'm not a huge fan of it but the rare inspect animation is really cool. Like, this is why this is near the top of Goofy, because, like, you're literally balancing it on your hand. And, uh, yeah, this looks really, really cool, especially when the CS2 beta was out. Rare animations were just happening pretty much all the time. And, uh, yeah, you could pretty much just balance the knife on your hand throughout the whole map, which was pretty cool. But, guys, to finish off the Goofy tier, I've decided to go with the Bowie knife, or Bowie knife, however you say it, which arguably could be a tier up, in my opinion. Like, I do actually really like the look of this knife. It's just the fact that when you're holding it, you only have one hand out. You know, you can't see your other glove if you've got a pair of gloves on. So, yeah, that's pretty goofy in my opinion. But overall, yeah, I really like the look of it. Animations are pretty clean, especially when you pull out and inspect straight away. I think that looks really nice. But yeah, let's move on to the C tier. So, starting off, we have the survival knife, which I actually think is a really, really nice knife. The only thing I don't like about it is the little cutout, similar to on the paracord knife. You know, the long, thin cutout on the blade. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I just don't like it. It just looks a bit weird. But honestly, the rare pullout animation where you flip it backwards looks really, really cool. And the standard animation in general aren't too bad and yeah overall I think it's a pretty good knife. Now at the top of C tier, we have the Huntsman knife, which I think is honestly one of the best budget knives in all of Counter-Strike. Now, of course, I mean, they're not as budget as they used to be maybe a year or two years or three years ago. You know, they, they are a bit expensive now, but that's just skins in general. But yeah, I mean, the look of this, like this is up there with one of the best looking knives, in my opinion. It's just obviously it only has the same animations as a gut knife. You know, if it had maybe a rare animation or just had something a bit different, then yeah, it definitely would be higher in my tier list. But yeah, it's still a solid, solid knife. And to be honest, I probably could put it a tier up, but I think it solidly holds the top of C. Now for the B tier, guys, we start off with the classic knife. And for me, guys, the classic knife, I just think it's so, so cool because along with the butterfly knife, it's one of the only knives with a idle animation. And as well as that, like just the lore behind the classic knife, it was the knife from CS 1.6. And generally, I, you know, I don't mind the look of it. It's got the rare inspect where it flips it. And yeah, I really like the look of that. I've had multiple classic knives and yeah, just overall 
W knife. Next up, we have the Ursus knife, another knife that I've had in the past. The thing that really sold it for me for the Ursus knife is the rare inspect where you spin it round. Like, it just looks so, so cool when you get it. Now, obviously, the regular pullout and inspects are just default. The look of the knife as well is pretty cool. It's like a thick, juicy shard of, like, glass or ice. And yeah, I remember when it first came out, I did think it looked a bit silly almost. But yeah, it definitely grew on me. And overall, I think it's a solid knife, which I think deserves a solid B. Next up, we have the flip knife, which could possibly go even higher in this tier list. But I can't just put all the knives in, like, S and A tier, guys. But this knife is super, super clean and super OG. It was the first knife I ever got way back in 2015 when I started playing CSGO. And I mean, people like Kenny S, people like Guardian, they loved using the flip knives and orping with it. Looks super, super clean. It's just now when we have a lot of the newer knives with all the crazy animations, it kind of doesn't stand out as much. But I still had to put it near the top of B because, yeah, it's just super clean. Looks really cool. And it's just an OG knife. Now to top off B, we have a bit of a controversial pick. I think some people might want this knife higher, but as I said, I can't put all knives at the top. We have the Nomad knife, which is a very, very cool knife because when you hit the rare pullout animation and it cuts your left thumb, like that just looks so sick. Like there's no other knife that has almost like an interactive pullout animation where you slice your thumb open. So yeah, just that alone, like if we're going off of animations, it's one of the best in the game, I think. Now the regular pullout does look pretty nice as well. And the inspects are okay. They're almost like the default inspects, but just buffed a tiny bit. You do kind of twiddle the knife round in your hand when inspecting it. So overall, absolute W knife potentially could be A tier, but I think, yeah, for me, it deserves to solidly hold the top of B tier. Now, guys, we move on to the A tier and starting off at the bottom, we have the skeleton knife, which is just such a sick knife as a default knife. Looks wise, I think this is one of the best looking knives in the game. Like, I really like how the tape is wrapped around the handle of the dagger. And obviously, the rare pullout animation where you spin it around. Like, if you could have that animation all the time, then I would probably put this in S tier because I, I love that pullout animation. I'm just not a massive fan of the regular pullout. And then, yeah, of course, similar to, you know, a few other knives, we have a spinny rare animation, which looks sick in game. So, yeah, this, again, potentially could be higher than the next knife. I, I don't know. These two knives, I like them both. But, uh, yeah, I think overall, it's an A tier, solid knife can't go wrong with it. But yeah, next up, guys, we have the Talon Knife, which, as I said, is pretty much joint in my rankings with the Skeleton Knife. I mean, honestly, it's kind of a copy of the Karambit, which, I mean, hey, we'll get onto that in a sec. But uh, yeah, just overall, it looks really, really cool. The only thing I don't like is the little circles cut out of it. I don't know. Like, on the Skeleton Knife, the circles kind of make a bit more sense, in my opinion. On the Talon, I'm not sure. But it doesn't completely ruin the knife. And again, this is another knife with a rare inspect animation where it just spins it around a ton. So that's pretty cool. Now, something I don't like about the Talon is the regular pullout. But I am someone who pulls out knives and pretty much always hits F straight away to inspect them. So when I do that, I actually almost get like a karambit looking pullout. So yeah, that kind of saves the talent for me. But yeah, if it weren't for that, I don't know. This probably wouldn't be as high. But yeah, overall, absolute W knife. Really good option if you're trying to get like a budget karambit knife, I suppose. Next in A tier, we have the bayonet, which I mean, guys, this is like arguably one of the cleanest pullout animations in the game. Like it just flows so nicely. And it's just a solid, solid knife. Now, obviously, I mean, we haven't gone over it yet, but the M9, like, I just prefer the look of that. But, hey, the bayonet still looks super clean. It's not a bad-looking knife at all. Obviously, there's no, like, rare animation or anything like that. But, I mean, this is just such an OG knife. Such a smooth, clean pull-out animation. It's got to be near the top of A tier. But, guys, to finish off A tier, we have a knife which grew on me so much. Because when it first came out, I literally laughed at it. But, yeah, that is the stiletto knife. And, yeah, I mean, guys, I don't know. Some of you guys are going to be roasting me in the comments. But, I don't know. It's just such a clean knife, guys. Like, it's it's literally like the old school gangster knife that all the mafia and stuff like that was used so yeah it, it just looks sick the pullout is super clean the rare animation when you flip it around in your hand is so so nice and just also sounds really nice i don't know i, I don't know if, like i haven't really spoke about sounds of any other knives but it really just stuck out to me when i used a stiletto so yeah for me guys arguably this could be s tier stiletto i just i don't know for me uh, it really grew on me but only after i actually used one myself like uh, before i had one personally i didn't really think that much of it but yeah, when I got one, I don't know. I, I changed my mind, I suppose, guys. So, yeah. To end off A tier, we have the Stiletto Knife. But now, guys, what you've all been waiting for. Yes, this is a bit of a generic list, I suppose. But it's just the truth, guys. These are my rankings. Maybe they are a bit basic. But no, I'm not going to have, like, the gut knife in S tier. Like, I've had pretty much every knife in the game. And I've tried them all out. Uh, so, yeah, this is just my honest opinions after using all of them. So, yeah. Starting off at the bottom of S tier, we have the Butterfly Knife. Now, okay, again, this might cause a lot of controversy. Like, a lot of people 
would say that the butterfly knife is the top of S tier because of all the because of all the animations and the fact that it's got the idle animation as well. And don't get me wrong, like it it is really cool. Like as I said, this was another knife which for me would have been like B tier, maybe even A tier if you're lucky. But yeah, I, I didn't used to like the butterfly knife at all, guys. It was actually a knife that I actively didn't like, and that's mainly just because of the default look of it. I I just think it doesn't look the best. But yeah, after using it, guys, like I don't know, maybe I got some like undiagnosed ADHD. But yeah, it's the funnest knife to use in the game for sure. Without a doubt, if you love inspecting skins, guys, then probably don't get a butterfly knife because you're going to die because you're just going to have it out inspecting it because, yeah, it's just so addictive. It is literally the fidget spinner knife. And as I said, after getting one, it definitely grew on me. And that is why now, for me, it's an S tier. So, guys, we have two knives left. We have the M9 and the Karambit. Which one am I going to pick? In the second place spot, we have the M9 Bayonet. And yes, guys, uh, again, there'll be some people who are massive M9 lovers who think the Karambit's overrated. But I mean, hey, this is almost like a joint first place, guys. Like, the M9 is so, so sick. Like, it just looks like what a knife should look like in a video game. You just can't go wrong with it. The pullout as well is really, really nice. Now, some people don't like the inspect on how, like, the thumb, like, moves through the hoop, and they haven't fixed that yet on CS2, but... Honestly, I don't really care. That doesn't really matter to me. Like, it just... Yeah, it's a really nice knife. It's really big as well. And yeah, it's just, honestly, one of the best OG knives. If you haven't had one, and you can get one at some point, guys, I highly recommend them. Such a good knife. But of course, guys, in the number one spot, as I just said, that has got to be the Karam bit. Like, it's just the best knife, guys. Like, there is no arguments, in my opinion. Like, the pullout, super clean if you're orping with it. Super nice when you quick switch. And just the look of it, guys. Like, it literally just looks like a claw. It's blacked out. It hasn't got an odd colored handle like the Talon knife. I mean, hey, the Talon knife can look good with certain combos, but the Karam bit just goes with everything. It's super clean. There's no weird things, like, cut out of the blade. As I said, it just looks like a claw. And yeah, I mean... Yeah, back in the day, it was my favorite knife, and it, it still is today. It hasn't changed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this list. What would you swap out? And give me a reason on why you'd swap certain things out. Don't just say bad tier list. Uh, I mean, okay, now, now some of you guys are just going to say bad tier list. But yeah, give me some reasoning behind your decisions. Also, as I said at the start of the video, guys, make sure to join my Discord so that you can vote on tomorrow's videos giveaway. And if you want to watch more CS2 content, click the video on your screen right now.